Hello, hello, hello to all of my Taurians. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your full moon in Cancer reading. We have a full moon on the 6th of January. Full moon in Cancer gives us very powerful feelers. Cancer is the I feel sign, right? So if your dreams have been really down, really um, vivid, uh, the downloads have been very vivid. If your downloads have been very vivid, your dreams have been very vivid, it is the moon in, well, it's a full moon anyway, but especially in uh, Cancer. Cancer is the mother sign and the money sign. So anything that doesn't nurture your spirit uh, or you feel unsafe in that space, that mental space, it's time to learn the lesson. Pay attention to all the signs coming your way. Let's see what your cards have to say. Taurus, let's see. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So somebody's been waiting on some kind of an approval and when it comes to your, your money. And so sources like don't go out there and frivolously spend your money on things when things are going to come to you. The energy of money is coming to you. Cancer is the uh, money sign and the mother sign. So only focus on what feels good, what nurtures your spirit, right? Like what feels like like, uh, like soul food, like to your spirit, right? Here we have the four of wands. I see new love coming across somebody's path. And I see that coming across somebody's path really, really soon. So again, you want to be crystal clear about what feels good to your spirit and what doesn't. Because if a new love is coming across your path, for some of you all, you know, and you still got the heaviness of, you know, something happening in the past, then source is trying to send new money across your path. Our money is directly connected to our relationships with other human beings. And so if you're spending a lot of time focusing on something that happened in the past versus what's coming your way, which is new money, new energy coming your way. If you, if you are more conservative with your time and saying, you know what, instead of me, I look back because I'm learning lessons. I got the lesson. Now I'm moving on. You're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. Back to feeling charismatic, happy, and free moving forward, right? So new love coming across somebody's path is not necessarily a physical new person. You could already be in a relationship with the person. It's like a newfound love for yourself, like a newfound. It's like a person who just discovered, oh, you know what? I got the message that didn't feel good for me. It didn't feel like a safe space in that relationship. That job relationship, that's a professional relationship, friendship, didn't feel good, romantic relationship, that just didn't feel good. Now that I've acknowledged it, I can release it in love, right? So how are you going to release it in love is you're going to write down all the information that source is sending through dreams, um, sending through uh, any kind of download. You could be in the kitchen washing dishes and all of a sudden somebody's name pops up and it just reminds you of a time where you just felt like I was burned, you know, during that time. So it's just write, write it all down. You want to write a letter. I'm, I'm giving somebody the answers to this. Write a letter to, to God, which is self. I release whomever, dot, dot, dot. It could be several names. I release them from my universe with love. Any negative energy uh, sent my way, knowing or unknowingly, I return it to sender in love, right? So it doesn't matter. Even if you got people around you that's wishing harm on you, you don't even know who they are. I'm sending it all back in love. Return to sender. We have the four of cups. Somebody's still sitting around overthinking something. We have the four of swords. Source wants you to get your rest. Source wants you to get your rest. Here we have the moon card. So eventually somebody is like going to stop allowing themselves to be overwhelmed. Also we have the moon card. It's like, okay, I'm thinking about what's going on behind my back. I wonder if somebody's plotting and planning. Let karma deal with that. The sooner people start understanding how karma works and karma doesn't miss anybody, you'll, you'll move on with your life. You move on with your life. Somebody will move on with their life. Somebody doesn't even realize some people are dealing with some mental health issues. Like somebody that may have burned you in the past have at least five generations of just chaos and confusion. Have y'all ever been around people's families, Taurus, and you just like, wow, I almost feel sorry for that person. I mean, seriously, because it's just that much chaos and confusion in the family. You're like, oh my God, wow. I, I didn't realize it ran that deep, right? I'm telling you, all you have to do is surrender to source. And, and that surrender to source means compassion. Next thing you know, you being approved for stuff, more money is coming across your path. You're like, wow, I didn't even realize. Like, I, I, here I am upset with something or somebody. When I, when I really thought about it, 
that thing runs in the family. It's a spirit. It's a spirit that runs in the family. People just in their own hell. It's like nobody in the family is happy. Nobody. Nobody in the family is happy. So you're choosing to put you're choosing to put your energy somewhere else. Here we have uh the Emperor card, which is attached to Aries. Um and uh once you the, the sooner somebody recognizes that somebody is in their own personal hell and you just move on from it, you're like, I'm I'm taking my energy and I'm putting it towards something that is I'm forgiving people, whomever, for whatever. I'm moving on from it and I'm I'm getting my rest. I'm not even gonna sit around and overthink this. I'm not ruminating over this. This is where this right here. See how this person is posted up emotionally, just replaying it over and over and over again in your mind with sources like, get your rest. Get your rest. Start taking some take, start taking some action. Activate the divine masculine side of yourself. Pull out your burning bowl. Sometimes a burning bowl can look like this. Sometimes it can look like you don't have a burning bowl. You're just writing that letter that I just gave you to work. I literally gave you the, the whole. It, it doesn't even have to be something long. The longest thing on that letter should be the name or names of people, places, and things that you're releasing into the universe. You're sending all bad energy back to sender, right? You're sending it all back to sender. Again, get your rest and move on from something. Don't forget to um, uh, supercharge your gemstones and crystals under the moonlight if you can. If you if you can't sit it outside, put it on your windowsill. You want to make sure you recharge, especially this. This is rose quartz. This is also going to help you with forgiveness, self-love, and also if you desire to have uh, new love or spruce up your current love life, this is it right here. It work. It works. It works, it works, it works. Yes. Let's keep it moving forward, Taurus. Let's keep it moving forward. Yes. Let this full moon in Cancer, let the tears flow. Full moon in Cancer can be very, very emotional. Let the tears flow. Let the emotions come out. You know, you're trying to release all of that. Drink some more water because Cancer is a water sign. Here we have the Hermit card. Somebody could be in Hermit mode. You know, just kind of sort of um, an, um, analyzing your whole life, like, meticulously going through your whole life here we have the nine of uh nine of swords this lets me know that source is like something has been keeping you up again as we get closer and closer to the full moon you know your spirit is, is illuminated it's like if you can really pay like compare it to something taurus it's like you trying to go to sleep with the light on like supercharged light <laughs> like you like can you turn the light off it's like you don't even have the what is it the mask the face covers you know where people cover their eyes like the satin eye whatever mask you don't have that. You're trying to get some sleep and you can't go to sleep because see how this light is bright and turned up? It's like that's how it is in somebody's spirit. And Source is trying to tell you, have compassion for a situation. You're dealing with something. You're dealing with a different kind of spirit. It goes down at least five levels, level, generations deep of chaos and confusion. People in their own hell. So I do see you. I do see you. Um, and getting on your um your horse and getting as far away from that type of energy, you know, doing whatever you need to do to release that energy out of your spirit. Again, it's reiterating for a source came out twice. Source is like, I know something has been keeping you awake. Get some rest. Nine of one nine of wands came out twice. You looking back, somebody just keeps looking back at the past. What burned you? Your highs and lows. This should have been a lesson that was learned. Let me forgive somebody so I can move on from something. Here we have the King of Wands. So we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Not only does Source wants you to inspire people to move on, like somebody could be like, um, like I said, this has to do with your spirit, your spirit, your spiritual journey and taking action. Like somebody wants to use, uh, God wants to use you to help inspire other people, to help light a flame within them. Not in a negative way, but more or less like, uh, like um, Source is going to send some energies across your path, Taurus, to help you with the same journey that, th that you've already come out of. Not for you to just sit there and pretend like, you know, not to act perfect. Oh, that's never happened to me. That's terrible that you're going through that. This is about you sharing information with people. Like, no, you can get through it too. I understand. I completely understand. Here we have the chariot card. Yeah. So somebody could be in a, um, I, I see somebody moving forward. Um, I see somebody moving forward emotionally towards a romantic marriage or a uh, business marriage. It actually could be both when we're talking about your money. But I see somebody moving forward. 
you know, um, and I do see, like I said, for somebody love coming across their life, that's if you want it. If you're already in a romantic relationship, great. If you, even if you get out of one, um, release, release whomever from your past so that you can make room for like some people like being married. Some people do. Some people like the whole idea of being married, finding their person here on earth and saying, Hey, we're going to, we're going to do this life together or whatever. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want, some people are completely happy being single. So whatever your thing is, go for it. A new start is coming. A new start is coming. So stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. A new start is coming. Taurus, goody, 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 goody for you. Goody for you. So put your energy behind not wearing yourselves out, but instead focusing on this new love coming across your path, right? New love of self, new love of your life, developing discipline around your needs, right? What makes you feel safe, but you want to clean your space. Physically clean your space and your universe, Taurus. Again, happy full moon in Cancer. Again, Cancer is the mother sign and the money sign. So this is about how you mother yourself. Even if your mother is still alive, whether you have a good relationship with her or not, this is how you mother yourself. What do you need to nurture you? What do you need to feel good in your universe? 55, I am evolving. Substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. That's right. It's a pivotal point in your lives. Let's pull one last card and let's close it out. One last card and let's close it out, Taurus. One last card and let's close it out. Kindness. That's right, kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I am full of goodwill towards those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I am grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. That's it. So if somebody got new energy coming your way, you certainly don't want to... To, to drain them with past, you know, tricky relationships and that kind of stuff. People need help, right? People don't want to feel like people are so above them, they can't even relate to the human race. So you have an opportunity to help somebody by not dragging them to a past situation. But if they need help with something, because this is really multi-layered, but that's what I have for you, Taurus. I will see you on Sunday. Bye.